So what's going to happen today in the studio is I'm going to get loaded. It's Friday afternoon and we're going to load the kiln. Uh, before I get loaded and talk about all these pots, and I'm going to tell you about uh, what happened in our personal life. Well, Jim and I took a, a rescue puppy. We weren't looking for a dog, but we got this little blue healer border collie cross, who's just as sweet and as smart and full of energy as anything. But the people who presented her to us should never be in sales. We were told that she is a, well, she's never been in a house before we got her. Uh, she has not housebroken. She's been kind of locked in the barn for most of her life. Uh, so she has no socialization skills. And the people who had her hit her now and then. She's an untrained pup. They didn't bother to train her. They just whacked her. So she had no idea when or why it was coming. So I said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what could happen? Well, what happened was we got the most wonderful little dog you could ever think of. Like I said, she's smart, she's clever, she's gone from a little dog who was so terrified when we got her, she could hardly walk because she's blossoming, she's running all over the yard and she's learning and training and it's only, hasn't even been a week, it's a week tomorrow. Uh, it's cute, everyone goes, no house training. <laughs> the true story is that um, when, we did, when we did get her, she had a, a mess the first day. Well, she just ha didn't have any idea. Then we told her outside, and then the next day we had a, a little pee in the house because she tried to tell us we weren't looking or listening. And so now what we do with little Pepper Dog is we go outside and I say, we're gonna pee outside, we're gonna pee outside. And she pees and she gets so excited, she gets so much praise in her cookie for going pee outside that she wouldn't think of not giving up that kind of praise. Anyway, so she's sweet. We're really happy we have Pepper in our life. Our other dog, Harvey, is mm, coping. <laughs> They'll get along fine. So anyways, talking about getting loaded. Before we get loaded, um, all these pots here and 10 other plates and around and another dealy over there are all made with reclaimed clay. I don't throw away any clay. I have clay buckets. I talked about it in a, one of my first blogs and I just keep five gallon pails full of clay and I turn them upside down when they're full onto a cake, uh, plate and I get a big cow plop and I dry it out and I make pots. So all of this clay is kind of free if you don't keep your clay. Um, it's just a good idea to reclaim your clay. My, my, depending on where I go, my clay supplier is either two and a half hours, three hours, or six hours away. Clay is expensive for me because I have to go and get it. Um, so these things are all signed except for this one. I talked about signing before and I like to sign when the pots are completely dry. This gives me that last chance. There's a little to have a look at it, to make sure there's no little chunkies on there or little mistakes or a rough place or a rough part. And because if you leave all those little chunkies on there, they are written in stone. Now I'm going to sign the pot Clark, because that's my name, <laughs> and it's ready for the kiln. It's also a good idea to check out, I didn't even see this, I was signing this pot and I turned it over because they always are upside down. I sign them in the right side up. And this one's got a ding. And this is where reclaimed clay comes from. Anyway, so we'll get these into the kiln. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about these guys. Um, these are, these are, this is a, a footed bowl. <laughs> it's a bowl with feet. If you're going to make one of these, make sure that the bowl you're working with is nice and thick. A lot of times potters get hung up in being thin. It's never been an issue for me. Anyway, make sure your pot is thick because these feet are solid. I, I could have hollowed them out, I guess, but I didn't. So you have to have a, a body thick enough that will stand up to the, the, the sculpting and the drying. If they're a really thin bottom, that big leg on there will break the bottom, chances are. And it's just, it's just better to have it a little bit thicker and thinner. Dry them slowly and have fun with it. But we're talking about these, these uh, footed bowls and a lady I know, she wanted to make one, but she was afraid. And I thought, <laughs> if you, you don't have one now, and if you try to make one, you don't have one. I, I couldn't understand fear. And, but she was very timid and just didn't know where to start, so she didn't. Uh, but true story, I'll tell you about fear in pots. I'm the only person I know who's ever been hurt making pottery. A thousand years ago when I was 18, I was studying in the mountains and I was making this bowl, probably much like this bowl, just a bowl. But my 18-year-old ego made it the best bowl 
since people have been making bowls. Never since the history of, of mankind or personkind, since people making pottery, have they made such a gorgeous bowl as when I was throwing. And I was looking at it, it was kind of woggling around and I wanted to make sure it was just perfect. And I've always had long hair. I had much thicker, longer hair back then, but anyway. I had my hair up on a ponytail, but it was coming down. I was looking and admiring the best bowl since the creation of pottery. And my hair came down and the bowl spinning on the wheel caught it and kind of pulled me in and got mud all over my face and my hair. And I figured that was the divine saying, Cindy, it's a bowl. <laughs> and if that's the worst thing that can happen to you making pots, the lady who's afraid of feet will survive. Anyway, so um, don't be afraid. Reclaim your clay. If you want to make it, go for it. Make it thick enough to stand up. And if you want to stick your face in a pot, <laughs> go for it. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on. We're going to get these pots into the kiln, and then I'm going to go out and play with Pepper and Harvey. And after that, it'll be a day.